hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using market structure to tell us our current position of price on h bar on the price market chart and also use the market structure to predict the next possible move of h bar but first guys if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both direction of the market you want to know our current position on price market chart this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on our daily time frame the most recent break of structure we saw on our h by market structure was a break of structure to the downside and guys remember my emphasis on this channel that after every break of structure what should we expect we should expect a pullback guys for us to be on a pullback face we needed price to trade above this swing that give us this lower low and guys that's what we saw we saw price traded above this swing and we'll pull back broke more structure to the upside but guys we'll be doing that on our for our time frame but guys are we still on a pullback face because we saw price came close to the upper swing of our daily time frame but price did not close above it and after that we saw price going back down so guys are we still on a pullback face or we are back to an impulsive fix we'll be going back to a four hour time frame to go see what price is doing on our four hour time frame and guys let's remember that we are trading between this upper swing of our daily time frame and the lower swing of our daily time frame so guys remember that with market structure you can actually make money on both direction of the market all you need to do is you just need to trade alongside with market structure and guys let's not forget that with market structure you can predict the next possible move of market so guys let's go back to a forward time frame and let's go see what market structure is doing and coming back to our market structure what do we saw or coming back to our four hour time frame, what do you saw? We noticed that it was this swing that gave us this level low, and we've seen price traded above it. Price pull back, broke more structure to the upside, pull back, and broke more structure to the upside. And guys, what does all this break of structure to the upside mean? It means that price is now back to a pull back phase, and price came close to the upper swing that gave us a like the price came close to the upper swing of our daily time frame, and guys. Expecting more break of structure to the upside for us to change back to a bullish trend. We saw price broke structure back to the downside. So guys, what do you think? Do you think we are still on the pullback phase? Based on market structure and our four time frame, we are now back to an impulsive phase because we just broke structure back to the downside and price is now trading between this upper swing of our four time frame and this lower swing of our four time frame. Guys, and remember that after every break of structure, we expect a pullback. For our far time frame to be on a pullback phase, guys, we need price to take trade above this swing that gave us this low low. So, guys, let's not be surprised that we'll be seeing some green candles for us to be on a pullback phase. Guys, if price can take out this swing, that shows our far time frame is on a pullback phase. And if price should come back up and take out this swing, that shows we are now back to a bullish trend. So, guys, let's trade carefully. Let's not lose our hard earned money back to the market. Remember that for some while we can be seeing green candle switch just means that price is just pulling back until we can see a change of character until we can see price take out this upper swing before we would believe that or before we take it that price is now back to a bullish trend so guys coming back to a one hour time frame to what do we notice we notice that the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys for us to be on a pullback phase guys we need price to take out this swing guys remember if price is not taking out this swing either this week or even next week then we should not be surprised that price can continue breaking more structure to the downside but guys if price should take out this swing that shows our four hour time frame is ready to be on a pullback phase and if price should take out this swing on our four hour time frame that shows our four hour time frame is just on a pullback phase until we can see a change of character or until we can see a change of direction on our four hour time frame before we'll be back to a bullish trend so guys for price to take out this swing on our one hour time frame that shows our one hour time frame is back to a bullish trend so guys let's trade carefully let's trade alongside with market structure and remember that with market structure you can make money on both direction of the market all you just need to do is you just need to trade alongside with market structure thank you guys for watching this video